Hey guys, it's Kevin here. Um, I'm here to talk about a very exciting uh, product today. Uh, I'm here to talk about the Eames uh, Reebok. I believe it was like the 17th or something like that. Uh, they released two Reebok Club C's. They're fairly simple, but um, I wanted to talk to you guys about them and talk to you about the entire collaboration in general. So the Reebok Eames collab is a collaboration between Reebok and the Eames House, which the Eames House is a power, I guess, couple, uh, Ray and Charles Eames. Uh, both of them have basically redefined mid-century modern, I guess, furniture and I guess like architecture as well. They are pretty well known, uh, like power couple, and they have designed some of the most iconic, I guess, like furniture and chair items. Uh, I will show you guys a few of them on screen right now. And this is sort of their introduction into the footwear space. Uh, they have done consumer products before, but this is their first time sort of engaging with the streetwear slash footwear market. And I do think that this is kind of like an interesting um, collaboration because this kind of highlights the whole convergence culture that we are kind of experiencing right now. Leo Gamboa, I believe, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but he is the head of a lot of Reebok projects and this was actually spearheaded by him. Uh, he initially went to the Eames house, uh, which is like one of their public displays. He went to the Eames house, he kind of looked around, he felt very moved by it and he himself is a very avid Eames, I guess, collector slash appreciator uh, and then he actually met with uh, like one of the managers of the Eames house and that's sort of where their relationship began um, and the Eames house itself is a very beautifully designed house it's here in California uh, if you guys are ever here or are currently here I suggest you guys check it out I still have to do so but I've seen plenty of plenty of videos online as well as like photos, etc. The architecture and the environment looks beautiful. I think they just recently reopened for outside tours, but I'm not exactly sure if the inside tours are reopened. So Demetrius Eames is the current head of the Eames office, um, as well as the grandchild of the Eames couple. And he said that the footwear, um, I guess, collaboration that they have right now with Reebok is a great way for a lot of people to be I guess brought into the Eames family, the Eames fold, and sort of be uh, educated, for lack of a better word, in the whole Eames process. And he really dislikes the idea of being like gatekeeping. And he doesn't like that um, a lot of it, a lot of, I guess, like furniture snobs are quite gatekeeping in terms of like how to get XYZ, who to get it from, the design inspirations, etc. So he wants to be as accessible as possible. Given this is still a limited uh, sneaker, I believe it is still in stock out of quite a few um, stockists, but uh, he wants to be as accessible as possible through the lens of streetwear, footwear design. And he actually said that the Club C is a very authentic sneaker, which I think really resonates with a lot of the Eames family members because the couple really wanted to be as authentic as possible, as fun as well as as um, I guess well designed as possible. Uh, they had sort of a quote where uh, the true nature of being a great designer is being a good host for your guest and then trying to anticipate what they will need next. So I think Eames kind of hit the nail on the head in terms of like what is somebody who enjoys great design, what will they need next and furniture um, is something that they probably already checked off the list, but footwear and sort of lifestyle, that is something where I think good design plays a huge factor into, and which is why I am, I guess, so intrigued by this collab itself. And both Leo as well as the Eames Foundation have said that this has passed the Eamesian test, which is collaboration, iteration, way it should be -ness, as well as attention to detail. And these shoes were made with the thought of it is uh, sort of like an everyday shoe. I think Reebok does that very, very well is that they make shoes where you can absolutely wear them every single day. They aren't like a, uh, a very specialty or a um, very like once in a blue moon type of uh, footwear company, I think. 
they make really good daily drivers and for lack of a better word, beaters. First I wanna talk about is the box design. I think this is a very well-designed box and this essentially mimics uh, the Eames house itself. Uh, very cool. The gold here is actually kind of reflective or kind of foil-esque. And then this box slides open to reveal more of the Eames house itself, as well as their famous tree. And I think this is a very well executed design, both by Reebok themselves, as well as the Eames team. And up top, they have the Eames Reebok. And here is the style code. This is for the black, as well as here is for the white. Both the boxes are the same. Um, I do know that they will be releasing two more Club C's. Uh, I believe one of is based off the classic Eames uh, dot print. And the other one is based off of Ray Eames's, I think, composite drawing. Uh, I will put them somewhere over here. I believe the dot drawing is made out of uh, like a fabric material, which I haven't really seen fabric club C's, uh, as well as the composite painting one that was specifically uh, for Ray Eames. Um, I, I think they're having a separate collection for her specifically. Um, but I believe that hers is coming out later this year. But enough of that. Here are the shoes. The shoes, they come with, I guess, three different lace options. Here's the black, and then I'll also take out the whites. So one thing that I really like about a lot of Reebok and Adidas shoes is that they actually stopped using plastic to kind of hang their lace bags as well as these product tags. They're using twine, which I think is actually really nice. So here's the Club C, this is for the black. And if you ordered from the Eames office like I did, you get this pretty nice Eames office sticker. I actually put my other sticker on my computer and this is actually quite thick. So you guys can put it on your laptop, etc. And the black pair comes with a pair of black laces already laced up, as well as a pair of white laces, as well as a pair of laces that say Eames all around it. And all the laces, the lace tips have Eames written on there in their classic font. I actually opted to swap it for a cream pair of laces. I actually got these laces from my uh, I believe it was the Ama Manye 3s. Uh, it's the Work Harder laces. I just liked the contrast between the black and the cream. I think this looks very, very nice. I think it's like, I don't know. Like, I think the contrast between the white is a little bit too stark and with the black, it just looks too blacked out. I think the cream contrasts against the black. So this almost looks more yellow-esque. And I think that's a very nice, uh, I guess, change. Uh, all black upper, uh, Eames on the side, Eames office and Eames logo on the tongue. The insoles actually have the primary colors from the Eames house. It is glued down, but you can pretty easily remove it. Right here, Eames geometric pattern. And I think this is really, really nice. I have run this a few times and the print of it is already, you can kind of already see it. It's like rubbing off. Uh, that's one thing that I have a gripe with. A lot of um, just sportswear brands, their insoles, the print on the insoles with the branding, etc., not very good. Um, I would really like to see some sort of embroidery or some patch or something like that where at least it'll last a bit longer. I'm not a big fan of these printed insoles. Uh, but I do like the pattern a lot. Uh, for both shoes, the pattern just kind of is mirrored against each other. So here's the black pair and here's the white pair. The white pair is very nice as well. Uh, I will have to say the leather quality on both of them are pretty good. Um, I currently don't have a pair of Jowns. I sadly sold all my pairs. Um, 
but the Jown pairs, I felt like they were a little bit more supple uh, in terms of uh, like texture. Uh, I will say thickness wise, I think they're pretty close. I do think that the Jown ones were a little bit softer and a little bit more tumbled. Uh, this is definitely more of like a smooth white leather, but I will have to say that I do feel like these will be more durable than my Jowns. Uh, my Jowns did get like scuffed pretty crazy. Again, given I did wear them a lot, uh, but I'm expecting to wear these just as much. And I feel like the coating that they have on this, just because it's not like super plush, that the white paint or the black paint will last a bit longer. Um, but I mean, like only time will tell. I did notice, uh, so there is actually a third variation of, I guess, this type of shoe um, is the friends and family version. The main difference is, is the Eames logo is all in uh, like different colors, the same colors that the insoles are actually in, I believe, um, or the, actually, I think it's the same colors as what the outside uh, box has. So those sporadic, so I think it has yellow, red, black, uh, blue and then I think I also saw like a white lace or something like that. So they have four or five different lace options. Uh, the tongue on the friends and family version I believe is cream like the Jones. So the gray version is just gray as you guys can kind of see. Um, and the friends and family version is cream as well as the friends and family version I believe has Honestly, from photos, it looks very different in terms of like leather plushness. So I think the friends and family version feels a lot more like my Jown Club C's did, or at least it looks really, really close. It looks almost identical. Um, I do wish that is a small gripe. I do wish that maybe they could have increased the price point maybe by $5, $10 on either of these and made the leather quality like the Jowns, but maybe they thought that more durability rather than like premiumness would be uh, favored for the general populace. I'm not sure, but I would like to see something to the level of the Jound with a design like this. Um, and another thing is that they did have actually kind of a cool little thing that I noticed only after I've worn the black pair quite a bit is that they actually had the inner lining have co-branded Eames Reebok which I think this itself is actually kind of cool. Uh, this is sort of that attention to detail that they did talk about. And I thought that was actually a really interesting addition just cause like they didn't really need to do that. Not a lot of people look inside of your shoe and it is truly for, I guess the wearer itself. Cause you really can't notice that from out here, but you'll notice it once you're wearing it, once you're lacing stuff up. Uh, so given that I haven't really worn these, I've worn the black pair pretty much every day since I got them. Um, quality control, uh, they did an okay job. There are some minor, I guess, paint issues as well as minor glue stains and scuffs. So I think my pair came uh, decent, but there's some like glue stains, but this is like a $100, $110 shoe. If you guys can see, there's like a, plastic glue stain there, some minor glue stains all throughout the shoe, but all in all, not super noticeable, not absolutely terrible. Some loose stitching, but I will have to say that this is pretty well done. And my favorite thing about the Club C is really just like the toe, is that they somehow get the toe beautiful almost every time. It like slopes down very beautifully. And I do think that both of these are gonna be a lot of people's favorite shoes and I think they're being slept on really hard right now. And I just wanted to get this video out just to be, I guess, put you guys on because I got two pairs of whites, one pair of blacks and I've actually enjoyed the blacks a bit more than the whites because I really don't have purchased any black club C's really. And I think the Eames collab, the quality of the leather is pretty dang nice. Um, I would again, uh, hopefully, uh, maybe they'll hit sale and then maybe I'll pick up another pair of blacks because I can definitely see my black pair getting a lot of wear. Um, and yeah, I will show you guys these on feet. If you guys have ever worn club C's before, I would say they run more true to size. Um, I have more wide feet, so 
I guess lengthwise, I'm a size, uh, I guess eight to an eight and a half. Uh, but like width wise, I would pretty much consider myself an eight and a half, but I got these in an eight and they were snug for a little bit. So same thing with the Jones, they were snug for a little bit and then they stretched out really nicely just cause the leather's really nice and they fit me perfectly now. So what I would recommend is that if you don't want to go through any sort of like stretching, I would go true to size. If you are okay with a little bit of stretching, a little bit of a snug fit and then them stretching and breathing um, and molding to your feet, I would say half a size down. But I truly think that these are like the best casual luxury shoes, I guess, luxury sportswear shoes. I just really like the clean lines of this. And again, you guys know as much as I do, I love Club C's. I love, I guess like Reebok Club C's in general. Um, and I've had so many pairs of jam that I think these are actually quite, quite nice. And for the prices that the Jowns are going for right now, I would just pick up two pairs of these. Uh, in all honesty, I don't think that the Jown side moniker is really all that necessary. If you really want to go full minimalist, you can remove the tongue tab, which I've done with a pair of Reebok Sneeze um, Club C Revenges before, and it just looks so clean. You can remove the tongue tag, you can keep the Eames on, and if anything, this is like even simpler than the Jown Club C, just because the Jown has it in black and then it's pretty prominent while the Eames is kind of tonal. So I would pick up two pairs of these instead of like one pair of used Jowns or something like that. I think they're going for like 300, but yeah. Uh, like, let me know what you guys think about this collab. Do you guys think it was necessary? Do you guys think it was cool? Or do you guys think it's kind of like a unnecessary byproduct of everybody kind of getting into minimalism and etc.? Let me know in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.